Tulsi Gabbard has been a prominent figure in US politics. She has a distinguished military background that includes three deployments to conflict zones in the Middle East and Africa. She is also the first Hindu congresswoman and she took the oath of office on Bhagavad Gita. She has often alarmed the world about the rise of Hindu phobia. Now, interestingly, Tulsi Gabbard and the whole Hindu community were recently at the receiving end of a Hindu phobic attack from none other than the Financial Times. While the publishing house tries to project itself as a champion of liberal values like equality, non discrimination, and freedom of faith, it has brazenly displayed Hindu phobia in one of its opinionated articles. Hello and welcome to Think for India. I'm your host, Porush Gupta. In this video, we will see the latest Hindu phobic reference made by a rabid anti India, anti Hindu, UK based publishing house, The Financial Times. Let's begin. In their latest piece on Donald Trump's new cabinet, Financial Times, US centric writer and associate editor Edward Luce penned a critical opinion piece about how Trump's choices are a misfit. When it came to Tulsi Gabbard, the senior columnist and global stature media house failed to do justice to its readers and went on to hurt the sentiments of billion strong Hindu community. Instead of basing his argument on defense and other administrative credentials of Tulsi Gabbard, Lewis hit below the belt and went on to define Tulsi Gabbard as a devotee of an obscure religious cult. For those unaversed, Tulsi Gabbard is a Hindu. Gabbard holds a degree in international business and is serving as the lieutenant colonel in the US Army Reserve. And she is currently serving as the battalion commander of 1-354 regiment in Tulsa, Oklahoma. However, for Financial Times, her credentials carry no weight as for them, the only credentials that matter for an imperial media house are that she is the first practicing Hindu congresswoman. Interestingly, while the writer trod on sentiments of the billions of Hindu devotees, the paragon of journalism, the Financial Times, had no qualms in giving space to the Hindu phobic reference and they allowed the editor to define Hinduism as an obscure religious cult. The fact that FT must understand is that calling Hinduism obscure does not make them one. Instead, it makes pretty sure that FT staff's knowledge of the world has nosedive to an all-time low. As Hinduism is a religion with over 1.2 billion population and is the oldest religion in the world. It's a strange how a so-called champion of liberal values can get so low that it could demean another religion and how it turns a blind eye to such a glaring fact. Being a Hindu holds no importance to leading 18 agencies of the security architecture of the nation. However, being a devout Hindu, Tulsi Gavad will prove to be tolerant, assimilative and just. But what drove Luce to make such a loose and filthy analysis is his innate bias that often takes wisdom away from anyone. Since Trump's victory, the FT portal and Luce's pieces are filled with bigoted ranting against Donald Trump. With that bias, if he gets to demean Hindus, it's the best treat for an ultra-leftist creature like him. Whatsoever he rants or FT cries, they must know that they cannot control public sentiment. If their ultra-left is not reaching out to the public, it will be wiped out. And people like Lewis cannot course correct, they will bite the dust and get humiliated with their wisdom lacking comparisons and definitions for others.